The autistic kid confessed his love for me. Now the principal is pressuring me to go out with him. I want to say no. So am I the a-hole? I know the title is going to make me seem like a bad person, but please hear me out. So I, female 15, am in high school. There is a boy near my year. Let's call him Kyle. Kyle, male 15, has severe autism. He can't be in public spaces for a long time without a meltdown, can't make eye contact, struggles with social cues, etc. Also to preface, I am not ableist. I will never, ever dislike someone just because they're autistic. But I hate him. <laughs> So anyway, me and Kyle are in the same math class. I didn't choose math. In the UK, in high school, you have to do maths and English the whole time. And we sit next to each other with his assistant teacher near to him in case he needs help. Kyle had, for whatever reason, taken a liking to me. Oh, your snap, you're a catch, come on. He isn't a bad person, and I'm sure he would be a great boyfriend. However, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Oh boy, the plot thickens. The plot thickens. I also have a girlfriend. The plot just got thicker. Wow. Of nearly two years. So I'm not attracted to men in any way. And obviously Kyle is a guy. So about how I got detention. Just after class, Kyle decided it would be a good time to confess to me, as in basically ask me to be his girlfriend. His assistant teacher was right next to me. So I had to watch my words. I politely declined saying I wasn't interested in relationships right now. The reason I didn't just say I'm a lesbian or I have a girlfriend is because one, people in my school are pretty homophobic, so I prefer to keep it a secret to avoid bullying. That sucks. Yeah. And two, my family's kind of homophobic too, so I don't want them to find out by some chance. They don't know me and my girlfriend are dating. Double suck. After I politely declined, Kyle was very mad. He almost got violent. I understand his frustration. However, I'm obviously not going to date him. His assistant teacher pulled me aside and asked if I just go oh. along with it for his sake, oh. to which I told her I'm not comfortable with it, which is completely reasonable. To cut a long story short, she ended up telling my head of year and the pastoral leader, and they gave me detention for, get this, bullying. Since what is not going out with someone bullying? Hey, Sam. Yeah. Will you marry me? Yes. Opie says, how did I bully this kid? I was perfectly fine with him until this. He won't talk to me anymore, which is odd. Was I supposed to just accept his date invite just because he's autistic? Which literally, if you had to do that, like half of Reddit would have girls. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that seems completely unfair to me. I hope you don't all think I'm some horrible ableist person for this. I just had to get it out. I still strongly believe I didn't deserve to be punished for not wanting to date him, and I'm really mad at the way my school handled it. There are a couple edits, but John, is OP the a-hole for not dating the autistic kid? You don't have to date anybody because someone says you should do it. Like, it's just, yeah, it's just so weird that like, one person in the school, like a teacher's assistant, it's already weird. But also one simple hack to get a girlfriend, be autistic and go wow. to the school. I've been doing it wrong all my life, apparently. So there is some edits. It's now the next day, and I have told my parents about this. I actually told them as soon as I got detention, couldn't text them because no phones allowed in school. They are just as mad at this situation as I am, and they are going to meet with a member of the school team to discuss it tomorrow, and I'm going with them. I'll post another update tomorrow. If anything happens, wish me luck. And edit two. Oh. Well, the meeting went well. My parents were livid and they demanded that they take the detention off my record. So they did. And now the head teacher had a talk with the TA and gave her a verbal warning. I don't think she'll get fired, but I hope she does. I think that's the end of it. And the school is never going to do that again or will take it further. Thank you all for the support. Wow. That's Man. beautiful. I'm glad it ended up well. Yeah. You know. But something that I'm not glad is like, how are these autistic kids going to get girlfriends if the principal is enforcing everyone they date? Bro, they need the assist. But what would you do, guys? What would you do? But what we also love to read is the comments from our public subscribers. Oh, my God. Yes, we do. And these comments come from the video. My biracial sister called my white parents racist. Do I kick her out? This is where OP disinvited the adopted sister from the wedding because she called her white parents racist. This comes from public subscriber Sword Horse as a mixed kid to adoptive white parents. If what OP said is true about the family, then the sister is probably being manipulated for something. The sister has probably known her whole life she is adopted. She had her entire life to work through her feelings, find a community, build an identity separate from her adoptive family. Sounds as though the birth family slash parents 
are planting seeds of dissonance. Whatever the motives, the goal is to get their daughter to separate willingly from her adopted family. I'm curious about what her birth family is telling her. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. This, I think, is a great example of a comment where it's like someone who literally lived the experience yeah. described shares their thoughts from literally having lived the experience. That's what we love. That's why we love you guys. You guys come from so many diverse backgrounds and we love hearing your stories. So please keep them coming. Publicly subscribe, comment below, and we just might read it. See you.